Good morning. morning. Well, I've been asked to talk about our mortgage, and I just want to start out by saying that uh, I've been on the board for over three years, and so the previous board and the current board, we've all pushed to try to pay off the mortgage. It's been a very important thing for us. Um, As you realize that the church is us, not this facility, but this facility is provided for us to gather and minister to each other, pray for each other, and help each other. And I think it's very important that we pay this facility off so we can use God's finances for other things, more important things, instead of paying interest at a bank. When you get an interest loan for the church, um, it's a commercial loan, and so the interest rate is high, and it blooms every three years. It's something that ours is going to expire uh, May 8th of, let's see, no, May, April 23rd of 2025. So we have a little bit of time before it, the balloon comes due. So with that balloon, the interest rate changes. And as you can see in the markets, they keep raising the interest rate. I don't see it stopping for a while. So I think current interest rates, if, we're, if you're lucky on a commercial loan, could be as around the 6% mark, but it's probably going to be closer to 8 to 10. We currently have a 4%. So that will change. Our balance as of May 8th this year is 102851 So we have approximately 100 members in church. And just doing light math, if everyone would just sacrifice $10 per week above your normal tithe, that would be $52,000 a year. We have 22 months till the note is due. The extra that we would have is, if we did that in the 22 months, it would be 95,333 bucks. That's approximately $7,500 short of our goal, but however, that figure would be a little less due to everyone paying weekly towards the principal, which would lower the interest rate. So, when we talk about tithes and offering, you know, your tithe in the Bible talks about 10%. But the offering we don't really talk about. And an offering is a financial gift that you make to your church that is more than your tithe. So, we can do a scan of the barcode to help pay towards the mortgage. Um, we can go to foundationspencer.com slash give, but you know, you can write a check, pay cash. It's a small sacrifice, I believe, for us to pay this off before the balloon is due. Um, the amount of money we would save is incredible and we could use, you know, for better things to grow our church, uh, take care of our communities, our missionaries. You know, there's things that we would like to do more than we're currently doing. Parking lot, yes. So there's things that we need. <clears throat> and I believe if we got rid of this, I think we're paying a normal fee about 1800 bucks a month for this. So anything that you give, whether you do the QR code or whatever, if you put on there principal only for the church, it will go straight to principal, not interest, and it will take care of it. So. Like I said, I know we've been aggressive. This last year, I think it was close to $40,000 extra that we put on it. So we've tried our hardest to do it. So we're going to do this sign up here and keep everybody kind of track where we're at with it. And like I said, we could just use some extra help to try to get this accomplished. And the more we do it on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly basis, that goes towards that principal, that interest rate, they're not getting. And that's what we want to do. So 